walk the forgotten realms and unlock them as I drop these spells to freeze hells wafting breezes smells strangely uplift you delve into your brain tissues change and shift you till you reach higher abodes and admire the souls of its residents glowing effortless bold denizens showing messages of olden vestiges golden premises no nemesis contends with this from Genesis to Exodus I flow testaments with no precedent knowledge colossal to abolish imposters poly with rosters doctors and prophets I'm washing your optics were all divine you can fall or shine for all time smaller minds won't condone this they stone you in a lonely pit but if you hone your gifts you'll transcend the realities of maya the fallacies of liars don't let them overtake you soberly slay your thirst for wisdom shalom all right today we're dealing with the spiritual meaning or the esoteric the metaphysical whatever you want to call it meaning of the children of Israel coming out of Egypt, going into Israel, and then going back into bondage. What does this symbolize? Well, first of all, we know the children of Israel started off in bondage. So how does that relate to us? Well, 100% of us start out in bondage. We are in bondage to our lusts, our desires, our thoughts, our feelings, our past, our comforts. We are stuck in a rut in, in our identity. Our identity is fictitious. Who we think we are is a, a fictitious thing that we're stuck in. So we're stuck in bondage to these things. And, and for for most uh, traditional people, I mean, we're just stuck in sin, meaning we're not going the way of life. So the creator comes and brings relief. He says, look, my people have suffered long enough. Let my people go. Israel goes off into the wilderness leaves Egypt, goes off into the wilderness, 40 years. What does this symbolize? This symbolizes the struggle. Once you seek that freedom, <clears throat> don't think it's just going to come, uh, come so easy. The wilderness, even Christ went to the wilderness and he was fighting off the demons within him <clears throat> because a lot of people think uh oh man some not even jesus was holy as to the point where most people think that nothing within him there's no temptation with him in him even the scriptures say he was tempted why is because he is getting those urges of evil as well like we all do within all of us lives good and evil you have to learn how to fight your own demons before you can fight them outwardly. But again, the wilderness is that time of trial. Okay. So then the children of Israel, which represents you, you're, you're trying to come out of the bondage to the lust of life. Now you step into your, refi your refinement period, which is going into the wilderness. Then you want to enter into the holy land right so the children of israel go into the holy land but what did the creator tell them they must do they must clean out all the inhabitants the same as you you must clean out all the inhabitants <coughs> because to obtain to life and what the christ came to show is not something that you can do on your own although there's work you must do it's only given to you by the grace of the Almighty, of the Absolute, of the Almighty Yah. It's only given to you by that. There's not like I do all these works and then I, I get this uh, enlightenment or whatever. No, you have to do the works. Just, you have to do the works to open that up. And what is those works? It said in Philippians 2 that Christ emptied himself. You can't have, you can't still have a little bit of, uh, 
a little bit of wine at the bottom of your cup think you poured out most of the wine but you still got a little bit of wine and think some pure water is going to be poured in that cup because it will still be tainted and this is the problem with a lot of us and this is the problem that the scriptures are trying to show spiritually about what happened with the children of Israel they went into they crossed over went into the land the holy land. What does the holy land signify? Our holy temple with the creator dwelling in it. What happened when they went over to Canaan? They started slaying some of the Canaanites, some of their demons. Like we must do. We must slay some of these demons. And when I say slay, I mean, we can get, well, that can be another topic. Because actually you just have to know how to transform the negative energy into a positive energy. Instead of using that mud and slinging it all over the place, use that mud to create a rose bush. And this is what the children of Israel were to do. In order to inherit the Holy Land fully, you have to slay all the demons. And this is what the Creator commanded them to do. Wipe everybody out out the land. And what happened? The Israelites left some of the clans within the land. Just like us, if we do not totally empty ourselves, but leave a little bit of that wine at the bottom of the cup, or a little bit of that milk at the bottom of the cup, don't expect to have pure water in your cup, <clears throat> even if it gets poured, which it wouldn't get poured, but if it did, it still would be diluted. So you must totally empty yourself. Totally lose even the concept of yourself. This is what... Is signified by them going into the land and being told to wipe out all the Canaanites within the land. You have to totally lose the identity of yourself or who you think you are. Even step out of your mind frame. Who is the man that thinks? This is what you have to come to the realization of. Who is the one who thinks? Because we're usually trapped in our mind. If something bad happens to us, we're dwelling on it. Who is the one that can rise above the mind? And look down at the thoughts that enter into the mind. And just observe them. Give them their time to dwell and let them pass on and not identify with them. This is how you begin to slay those demons or slay those tribes within you. Or slay those Canaanites within you. As the children of Israel were supposed to do. But since they did not clear all the, the um, tribes off the land, what happened? They were eventually ran out of the Holy Land, meaning you cannot be here. And the Creator cannot dwell in you unless you slay all those demons. You will get uh, run out of the Holy Land that you're trying to, um, because anybody could play holy. But eventually what's in you will manifest as Christ uh, stated a, a, a standing principle that whatever is in the dark will manifest in the light. So this is the principle or the spiritual teaching you should get. Even if it don't relate to somebody who isn't an Israelite, they can see the same story. That in order to reach that state of purity, holiness, you must learn how to tame the, the demons within you. Slay them. Turn them into uh, beings of love. Until you do that, you will not inherit the Holy Land. Peace.